the biggest challenge that you faced when moving from TV to film? Entire image where everybody is like, he's a TV actor. Hmm. He's a TV actor. Hmm. I hate yeah. that. One thing you learned from your co-actor and who was that co-actor? I think um, AB. I'll, yeah, I'll AB, take right. his name because hmm. um, he's very, very cool offset. One thing you would like to change in this industry? You know these plastic chairs yeah. I'm talking about? Right. They are like this. Basically, yeah. when you go and you sit, you have to sit like that. They are so bad for your back. Oh my god. I have been okay. saying this for so long. Uh, if there's one thing I could do, I would uh, ban these chairs. <laughs> they should not exist. Hi, this is Nikita Datta and you're watching this interview with Rohit Khilnani on Bollywood Hangama. I have a rapid fun, rapid fire for you. Okay. So we will play that as well. So brace up, quick answers. Let's make this I'll try, fun. I'll try. Okay. How would you describe your life? Currently, in three words. Content. Mm -hmm. Happy. Mm -hmm. the, the wanting more. Okay, I don't know. Content yeah. and wanting more. They're opposites. Why am I saying that? But yeah, it's it's a mix of that. Okay. Three things that we'll find by your bedside, which will always be there. A glass of water, mm -hmm. a candle, and uh, my uh, body butter. Because before okay. going to bed, I like putting it on my hands and feet. The biggest challenge that you faced when moving from TV to films? Getting out of that uh, entire image where everybody is like, he's a TV actor. Hai. Hmm. He's a TV actor. Hai. I hate <laughs> yeah, that. that. I is, hate when yeah. somebody says that. I'm really glad now because of OTT, people don't say that anymore. But yeah. still, I, I hear that somebody, oh, you're a TV actor. I'm like, okay. what is the yeah. difference? Okay. An, an actor is an actor. Right. What is the best thing a director has told you? And is there a meanest thing the director has told you? Not a director, but okay. uh, somebody at an earlier stage, uh, told me about how I am very dark uh, to play a certain character because he really? wanted a very fair heroine okay. uh, and this is, uh, I don't want to name okay, the person sure. but yeah, <laughs> this is the meanest thing somebody it told is, me and I was is. just like, ouch, okay. Yeah. Uh, second thing was nicest thing. There are lots of nice things that directors have told me. I think the nicest thing was recently uh, this director that I'm working with on a show which uh, I, I, I won't be able to talk about. Mm. Uh, he told me that um, I look the, like, I mean, I don't realize how nice I look when I have nothing on my face mm. because actually I've absolutely put no makeup in that. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think there's a lot of, he, he said there's, there's a lot of uh, innocence and truth that comes out in the eyes. I feel as an actor, that's the best thing you can hear about yourself more right. than anything. True. Because yeah. we kind of use our eyes to emote. Hmm. Yeah. One thing you learned from your co-actor and who was that co-actor? One thing that stays with you, like, wow, I didn't know this, but now I know. There's so many and I've learned so much, but uh, uh, I'm going to go from the top. I think um, AB, I'll, yeah, I'll AB, take right. his name because hmm. um, he's very, very cool offset. He is very cool. I he is extremely <laughs> cool and um, I think I struggle to be that cool, uh, that calm, that relaxed, that uh, chilled out uh, because if at all there is some stress around, you will know there is stress around, there, it will be on Showing my face. face right. I might not show it on another camera no. but like off camera I will be like, oh my god, this needs to happen, oh my god, this has not happened. I will be like that. Right. And I've seen, I've seen him be extremely That's relaxed true. and I love the way he kind of interacts with every single person on nice. set. Like, uh, it's, it's commendable how he's so humble, how he's so witty, how he's so funny and he just keeps everybody's energy up all the time. Nice, nah, that is absolutely amazing. Yes. What you're saying is we have observed but I also feel you are very calm and cool yourself. No, that's, that's you're meeting me on a normal <laughs> day. Correct, I've not but met if there's you a stressful times. situation, okay. I will be stressed. Right, yeah. and same if we take uh, Shahid and Imran Ashmi, is there something you learn? Like uh, with Shahid, I feel like what he does in front of the camera uh, is very unpredictable hmm. because yeah. um, I have seen him go perform hmm. and you don't see what's coming hmm. and when you see it on screen it's absolutely uh, it's right. wonderful to watch yeah. so uh, that's something I really like and with Imran I love his minding your own business right. attitude oh my god it is it is superb yeah. I mean I wish on every set I can behave like that where you don't throw a tantrum you're not arrogant but you mind your own business you don't make anybody's life difficult and that's what Imran does. And that's how he's in real life as well. Yeah, that's how he is in real life, which is great. Amazing. I think that's that's literally the right way to behave. One thing you would like to change in this industry. Is there something you're like, yeah, I hope this becomes better or something? It's a very stupid thing and it's just come to my head. You know, there are these plastic chairs. Yes. You know these plastic chairs yeah. I'm talking about? Right. They are like this. Basically, yeah. when you go and you sit, you have to sit like that. They are so bad for your back. Oh my god. I have been okay. saying this for so long. Uh, if there's one thing I could do, I would uh, 
ban these chairs. <laughs> they should not exist. Right. Everybody's back is going to be bad because of those chairs. Wow, that is a that is a very different <laughs> answer, but it's a it's a very cool. It and just different. came to me because I was like, hmm. I've just been against those chairs forever. One thing about beauty pageants that you'd like to tell young girls who are watching who would like to apply. Don't get carried away uh, by whatever they tell you. Don't hmm. forget to uh, first keep this in mind that. Uh, you're entering the beauty pageant because you love yourself the way you are. Right. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Nice. One popular belief about you that is not true. Could be health, fitness or anything else. One popular belief that I always eat healthy. No, I also eat unhealthy a lot of times. On a scale of 1 to 10, how addicted are you to Instagram? 10 being the maximum. 10. I think I'll give myself an 8. Okay. Right now I'm trying to like really mm. lower my screen time. Mm. I've put all those, uh, you know, those alarms that come. Right. You have had one hour of Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Please oh. switch it off and I'm mm. like, no, not now. Right. So I put those, so I'm really trying to reduce it. So I'll give myself an 8 on them. This is interesting. Three things a man who wants your attention should know about you. You need to smell great. Mm. You need to talk well. Yes. Uh, doesn't have to be in a certain language. It could mm. be Hindi, English, whatever. But you need to talk well. Yeah. And uh, don't flirt with me. <laughs> I think the moment you start flirting with me, I get put it's off. Over. It's over. Don't That's in your face flirt message, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, you have you have a 3 a.m. friend? I have, yes, I have a 3 a.m. friend. Okay. Luckily, blessed. Got mistaken for being someone else? Lots of times. Really? I don't want to name who, but yes. Oh my god, okay, later I'll ask you. Gave someone a fake phone number? Yes, of course, so many times. Yeah. You know there are times when you meet people uh, and you can't escape. Yeah. Uh, I always have a fake phone number. I right, guess. right. Got starstruck when you saw someone. I got starstruck uh, with two people. I've got starstruck. Mm. One was Mr. Bachchan oh, when he yes. walked into my look uh. test with the uh, AB, and I was I, I I was like this, literally like mm. like what to say. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, second was a uh, couple days uh, in right. my initial days when I was I was doing star sports. I was doing cricket. And I entered the commentator's box and he was sitting right there and I was just like, I'm just thinking yeah. like what to say. <laughs> <laughs> right, binge watch something and what? Yes, so many times. And last, recently anything that we Recently, you want to share? I have restarted Friends again. Yes. Because I best. feel like it's therapy. It is it's, therapy. it's literally free therapy. Yeah. And I finished one season and you know how many episodes are there in one season. Yeah. I finished one <laughs> yeah. season in a night. Oh my god. Yeah, like I literally stayed up night but and you're I right. watched it. It just everything. makes you happy. It makes it you so happy. Laughs, it does, smile. it does, yeah. Great. Lovely chatting with you and Thank I'm you. so glad we did this. Yes. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Rohit. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Hi, this is Nikita Datta and you're watching this interview with Rohit Khilnani on Bollywood Hangama.